Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone, especially to you sir. I am Siti Hana Raimalatip Uso from BED 1A and my report is how to perform Tahara. So, before we tackle that, magkakaroon muna tayo ng recap from the report of my classmate na si Ms. Umanta. So, Tahara means uh, purity or purification. So, sa ating mga Muslim, we have to stay a uh, being in the state of uh, pure or pagiging malinis dahil sa pag perform natin ng uh, five times a day na uh, pagsasala. So, in terms of that, meron tayong uh, tinatawag na terminologies or tinatawag dalawang terminologies ng uh, najas and or najasa means uh, impurity. Ito ang opposite ng kahara or purity. Dito is or ano nga ba ang sanhi or mga bagay na nagiging impure tayo sa ating katawan. So, una kapag iihi tayo, pupunta tayo ng uh, CR para umihi. That's the minor impurity. And meron nga pala tayong two types ng tahara at uh, na sa impurity and uh, purity. Ito yung may pagkakaparehas. Meron silang minor and major. So, mabalik tayo dun sa minor. Gaya ng sinasabi ko, kapag umihi tayo, uh, nag-digest, or tumai, and also, kapag napisikan tayo ng uh, tubig na marumi, galing sa sahig, mga ganun bagay. So, yun ang minor impurity. So, sa major impurity naman is, ito na yung ito na napapalob yung kapag may intercourse na, sexual intercourse ang mag-asawa uh, menstruation ng babae, may lumabas na uh, fluid sa katawan ng mapababae o lalaki. So, yun ang major. So, To purify the impurities, may mga ginagatwa tayo dito. So, dito na mapapaloob at matatakal natin yung how to perform tahara. So, paano nga ba natin uh, ipipurify ang isang minor uh, impurity? So, with the help also of tahara, with sa minor nito, minor uh, na ginagawa, ito, dito napapaloob ang pagsasagawa ng hudu. So, minor tahara is magpo-perform ka ng hudu. So, we are all, ano naman, uh, familiar sa hudu, di ba? Ginagawa, ginagawa natin ito before mag-pray. So, to purify the minor uh, impurities, we have to perform the uh, minor purification also, which is the wudu. So, these are the steps of uh, ablution. We, first, we have to say bismillah and after that washing our hands and then washing our mouth and nose, washing face, washing arms, washing head and ears and washing feet and then that the, after that I as you can observe no? we in minor we just purify or dililinis lang natin ang some of our body because 
minor minor nga siya so pupunta naman tayo or itatakal naman natin ang minor or I mean major tahara so gaya ng sinabi ko major tahara is kapag I mean ang major impurity or inadjusa is kapag gumot or ang mag-asawa is nagkaroon ng intercourse or monthly period ng mga babae and uh, may lumabas na fluid sa private ng mapababae o lalaki so ang isasagawa natin for major uh, impurity is also the major purification which is performing gusol or shower taking a bath like that so sa pagligo natin uh, sa pagligo natin by doing purification it's hindi lang siya basta basta naliligo yung usual hindi ginagawa natin na agad agad uh, magsa shower or buhos lang to shampoo agad so hindi ganon so sa pag perform ng purification para malinis natin yung katawan natin we have to do the intention, intention first ang pagniniyat ng oh Allah I am making this usual to begin to become clean for hadesa akbar or komplo komplo rigusal ito na yung parang sinasabi mo sa sarili mo na naliligo ka para uh, makawala or mawala sa iyo yung impurity and you'll become a uh, you'll become purify or malinis ka na that's is the most important pinaka importante sa pagligo ni nito or pagsasagawa ng gusol sa mga ganitong major uh, impurities is our intention and then second step is to say bismillah we say bismillahirrahmanirrahim and the third is to begin washing your hands dito na is uh, lilinisin natin ang mga kamay natin wash both hands properly three times starting with the right hand up to and including the wrist Make sure you do not miss any part. So, kailangan natin malinis yun ng tatlong beses. Kailangan isusure natin na malinis na talaga ang ating gamay. So, step 4. Wash off the impurities of the private parts and any part of the body where there may be impurities. Now, wash your hands. So, and step 5. Rinse your mouth. Rinse or gargle your mouth through truly three times tapos kapag naman uh, kung isinasagawa natin ito eh, magkakargal tayo na uh, parang hindi ganun kalakas kapag nagpa-fasting tayo and second Five, clean your nose. Take some water with your right hand gently up to into your nose drills. Make sure it reaches into nasal pas passage, passage, and then clean it with a small finger with your left hand. Do this three times. And number six, wash your face truly and wash your entire face three times, covering the top of your forehead and the bottom of your chin, and from the earlobe to other. Wash your forearms. Wash the right arm for including the elbow three times. The arm extended from the fingertips include the nails to the lower part of the upper arm. It is essential to remove anything stuck to hands, prevent the water from reaching the skin, such as dough, mud, paint, nail polish, rings, watch, and etc. Do the same with the left arm three times. So, step eight. Pour water over the right side of your head, thereafter the left of the head, and then the whole head down to the roots of the head, rubbing the roots of the hair with the wet fingers. Step 9. 
pour water freely over the entire body beginning with the right side then the left side and the entire body ensuring that no part of the body is left out by water by rubbing the body with your hands also pass into water into the navel is and etc so kailangan hanggang pusod is malinisan natin yan no? so step 10 wash your feet Move away from the area where you did goosel and wash the right feet and then the left feet up to including the ankles three times. You should enter the water between the toes with your little finger then wash the feet. So, ganon. Ang suna of doing goosel for tahara. So, now... Ang gusel is the above is the Sunnah method of performing gusel and is accordant with the Hanafi fiqh. All Islamically revered names have been omitted to preserve that sanctity and so that the posters can be placed in an area where people can study them before performing gusel. Gusel is compulsory for in the following cases. After ejaculation of semen, after sexual intercourse, regardless or whether ejection occurred or not, for women after hide or menstruation, for women after nifas post childbirth discharge, if any of the above was experienced prior to accepting Islam, then on accepting Islam, Gusul would become fard. There are three fard compulsory actions when performing is a fard. Gusel by doing this action, the gusel will be complete to gargle, to wash inside the nose, so to wash the entire body with no part left dry. This includes private parts, navel roots of hair, eyebrows, mustache, and the skin beneath the beard. Gusel is desirable in the following cases. On the occasion of Juma, the two each before entering into a haram of Umrah, or Hajj, after giving the soul to the deceased on entering the holy cities of Makkah and Medina. That's all. Thank you very much for listening.